Uplift is a large European research project with four universities participating. Charité in Berlin, the University of Lund, the University of Copenhagen and the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland. Our project wants to deliver the first in-depth overview of a very new technology, which is quantum computing and quantum AI, and its social, economic, ethical and legal implications. Quantum technologies are based on the idea of quantum physics. So it has the potential to really actually revolutionize several industries with applications like drug discovery and financial modeling. And that's why we believe it's so important that leaders and decision makers truly understand how it works and what it will do to their decision making processes. And that is the wonderful approach of the project that is based on the Chance European Research Network, that it combines in-depth research and practical relevance. We investigated narratives on quantum technology in policy documents. Uh, one notable finding in business focus reports is the use of sustainability and climate change to influence companies to embrace quantum. And looking more closely at news coverage, it really stood out to us that starting from the 2000s, we saw a more scientific and also societal perspective being mentioned in news articles, whereas then we saw a shift to a more economic and also political perspective when it came to quantum technology. And um, what we also found really interesting was that we saw a global competition rising in news coverage, especially between the US and China. Another interesting topic in business reports is quantum ethics that recently just started in 2022 and introduces a new dimension to the discourse. At the Charité, we will investigate the impact of quantum computing on medicine. And more specifically, we want to investigate the impact of quantum computing on decision making in medicine. Just think about deciding on the diagnostics or what therapy should I undergo? We will specifically investigate how personality factors and prior experience will influence decision-making processes. The aim of the project is to formulate a first concept of quantum AI literacy. So in the legal part of this project, we are discussing this fundamental shift from human decision-making to quantum AI decision-making, and how does it challenge the legal values of autonomy, human rights, justice, and others. What we have found out, looking at the legal texts that are discussing the regulation and the future of this technology, is that lawyers have already been grappling with the human rights um, and power balance issues, but what is lacking is the problem-based approach and something that contextualizes the quantum AI and decision-making, and this is what we are hoping to achieve with this project. As a technology, quantum computing is still at a very early stage, but it offers great potential. For example, using quantum AI in exponential growth and possibilities to predict large systems, like managing mobility systems, like predicting population growth, like predicting financial market performance. That is something that is related to decision making in many ways, on the individual level, on the organizational level, the corporation level, also on the political level. And to develop this technology in an inclusive, fair and productive way for everyone, we really have to understand the technology now. This is what this project is about. Mm -hmm.